Okay. So we are going to give this another go. Uh, like I said, I've spoken to um, Ben since I played and uploaded the first run around, and he like it, it clicked for me actually how you meant to play this game a bit differently from the other games I played in the series. Um, I've also since completed the mission twice. In the first, I shot Dahlia just from a funny angle, and I did I shot them both from funny angles, and I sort of like then briskly walked out. Um, the and I, I never changed my suits or anything. Um, then I played it where you went up and you got the uh, the vampire costume, and I killed Dahlia with a saber and uh, Victor with a something, I can't remember. And then I escaped via the catacombs, so I got that. Oh, I collapsed a chandelier on him, but I killed like 11 people doing that. So, Good evening, sir. Welcome to San Quentin. my plan here is to find some rat poison. Which I'm guessing is downstairs. Would be the most obvious place to look. Um, I've also learned the layout a bit better, which helps when you want to look swish and smooth. Um, he says, doubling back on himself. There should be rat poison down here, it would make sense. My next uh, idea is to get up to the, um, what do you call it, the top level, the, the top floor. Uh, you can just get the, uh, what's the word, invitation, it's pretty easy to come by that. My, uh, I have had success just climbing up the side of the building. Is that a crowbar? Weird thing to be in a dressing room, but okay. Um, so, another crowbar. Rat poison must be around here somewhere. Oh, is that it? Well, that's useful. I won't say no to that. There we are. So, um, I will also learn, because I, I found this when I was being a vampire before, because obviously the catacomb exit's right there, I noticed that you can learn the ingredients for making his cocktail, which would be useful although I've never seen two of them come down here before so maybe I'm it's not that important um, also I like trying to do these things with the assumption that I am uh, not going to change out of my clothes so I don't necessarily want to do the cocktail thing because that would require disguising myself as a bartender, which isn't my play here. So instead, I will... I think I'll get... The, wait. No, it's not an illegal item. That is. That isn't. So I think I will ditch the gun somewhere. Uh, actually, there probably should have been a place down there for me to do it. Never mind. I will... Uh, I will find the invitation which is down here I will ditch the gun and I will go up the proper way hey what's up yo uh, I need to find somewhere to ditch this gun I mean actually I can just leave it somewhere no one's gonna come in here Right? That's how these things work. So... Actually, wait. Hold on a tick. Was there poison in here? I'll be so annoyed. No, thank god. That would have been 
frustrating. Um, so now I'm going to go up the legitimate route because they'll frisk me and not find a gun. In the past, because again, what I love about these games is you don't feel bad for exploiting the stupidity of the AI because they're so uh, inhuman. I think I've said this exact phrase before, but they're so inhuman that like you don't feel like you're breaking the game in a way that like challenges your suspension of disbelief because it's already unbelievable how gullible and how weird logic they apply. Case of point, you can scale up the side of this building in a tux and climb over in front of full view of like guards and everyone and uh, and no one will bat an eyelid. They'll be like, hey, what are you doing climbing over there? But they won't actually, that's not like a reason to attack you, which makes sense. But the logical conclusion of that. Please come right through if you need anything. Just need to see your invite, sir. That, was, that took a really long amount of time. Thank you, sir. Please continue. So, uh... Yeah, you climb over the rafter and they'll be like, what are you doing, man? And then, like, don't don't care, even though, like, it would be in real life insane that a man had just repelled over the, uh, um, whatever you call it. So, oh, this way, I see. Please enjoy the show, sir. So I should be fine. Unless I've massively misunderstood how this mechanic works. Are you works. anything that could be seen as a potential danger? No? Also, she doesn't get frisked. I appreciate, like, again, that's another thing. It's like the divergence between your experience and the experience of your NPCs. They're not trying to make it a realistic game. I've just noticed there's a weird thing on my character where, like, can you see a slight faint halo around me? Like, I can illuminate the steps. Anyway, um. I will blend in. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. Thank you. So. Soldier. I. Th Good evening. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, Mr. Uh, Reaper. Tobias Reaper. I'm a friend of Victor's. I see. I wish I had been informed. Well, no matter. Do enjoy the auction, Mr. Reaper. I will see you later. Looking forward to it. Cool. I don't actually have any plan. I don't know if this would lead to anything. I don't know whether she'd like invite you to her, you know, rooms or whatever. I don't need that. What I do need is to get... I'm just going to do like the easiest way I know how to do this, which is get her into the bathroom. So, uh, trial and error has taught me no one actually pays attention to this door because they're slightly too far away. Yeah. So, if I can get past these guys once the door closes... Yep. Now I need to get rid of the guard. This is all very sort of by the numbers because I've 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 not done it in this order before, but I have messed around with these various elements. Cupboard. Pick up the gun. There's no real reason for this. I just like it to be out of the way. So. Oh, she's coming towards. I might have to wait for the next loop. Yes. Yes. 
We well, see now these two are going to have a long conversation. I was too slow there. Um, oh, wait, can I just. Will that bother either of them? No, I guess not. Okay. I'll just turn it off before it... Cre like, because it can attract that guy. I've tried throwing coins before and that man will... Uh, well, this is annoying because now I've just got a long period of waiting. Um... They will talk for an extortionately long period of time. Um, I could try... Oh, I didn't pick up the explosive, which is over there. I could go get it, I guess. But I'm still unclear about... I think you can crush other people when he takes the stage. Um, and I don't want to assume that. I also want to try... I know there's a version of this where like you can... like. Because I've seen the challenge for it is like sniping them both. I don't know how you get the sniper. I think you have to unlock it by being good at this game. But that'd be fun to try. Uh, yeah, they're going to talk for literally hours. Where are they in the conversation? I hate to say it. Okay, they're near the end. I've listened to that conversation far uh, too many times. <sighs> I mean, thankfully, hers is not a particularly long route. He's underneath me right now. Oh, there he is. I guess he's on his way to go speak to uh, Hannah Winter. Is it Anna or Anne? I don't know, Anne Wintour? I think it's Anne Wintour. I don't know, whatever, who cares. Um, oh my god, how are they going along? Oh, now they're talking about that church. God, it's such a long, long conversation. Also, it's now dawning on me. She doesn't drink the champagne. You have to do something, I assume, to trigger that. Unless I'm mistaken. Unless she drinks it at a different point. There's a champagne glass in this room. I thought I could, you know. Oh, shit. Fuck. Damn it! Oh, man, I didn't expect you to come in here. Hold on, let me... <laughs> uh, is that...? No. This is... What time is it now? This is this one. I think that's not too long ago. Yeah. I've never had that happen before. She's never come in here. I've always had to, like, go in there. Uh, I don't know whether it's because I spoke to her. That seems unlikely. The whole reason I got the uh, rat poison was because I thought the only way to get her to come into the bathroom was to make her feel ill. Because I've never... Oh wait, how long into the car? He's just arrived. Oh, okay, so we're going to be here for like three minutes. But now I know she's going to come into this room and I don't... Oh, this is after I turn this on. Well, I'll leave it on because if she's coming in she might go and investigate it. That's never happened before. I've, I've. This is my only way I've found to kill her uh, reliably so far. I've done this like two, three times. She's never come in here. I don't know whether that's because I've done something or whether maybe she does come in here and it's just I've missed that part of the... I don't know. She's always walked out. It's always been a moment because she walks in and for some reason her assistant takes like an extra 10 seconds to come through the door even though he like shadows her the rest of the time. And so I've used that to literally just like open a door, shoot her or stab her or whatever and then flee. 
he finds the body because there's not enough time to drag her somewhere. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have managed to drag her uh, into this cupboard. But... Um, but yeah, uh, that's the only time I've been able to reliably get her alone. I know you can do other things. I, I mean, the, the challenges show me that it's possible to like, you can do something with a laptop. She can get her to look at her laptop. I don't know how to do that. Um, but uh, how are we doing with the conversation? Oh, now they're going to talk about the church. I should... I mean, I can just hide here. The problem before was that I was, like, right in the middle of the... Um... I have no idea how to kill Victor. Well, I have, I have several ways to kill Victor. But I don't know of a way to do it... That is reliably... Reliable. And also, again, I, I like trying to keep in my clothes. I want to try and make this the silent assassin one, you know. Just them. Nobody's found. Actually, that'll only... No, because the way I was thinking, I was maybe going to let you him in the puddle, but I don't know what... I think nobody's means, like, not even the targets are spotted being dead. I don't know how you would get Victor alone for that. Um... Hmm. I guess if you, again, yeah, well, if you poisoned his, no, because you have to be the boiter for that. It's doable because there's an achievement. I'm just clearly missing the... Okay, she's about, I'm going to save just because... It's not so much save scumming, although I am prone to that in this game. It's so much that, like, that wasn't difficult. I was just standing in a room. So, apparently she's going to come in here now, which she's never done before. Is he going to come in here too? What? Oh, I just saw up her trousers there, I didn't mean to do that, that was... Well, done, 47. well? Victor Novikov is next. Okay, I have no idea why she came in here to make a phone call. Maybe she only does that the first time, and every other time I've come up here, it's been like after she's done the loop two, three times. That would make sense. These loops seem to be mutable. Uh... So, I have no need to be up here anymore. Now I need to go get Victor, who is currently... Uh, does he show up on this map? Yes, he does. He is... Standing around near the stage? Okay... Sir, are you going through or just dicking around? Come on. What the hell? What's this? Oh, that's weird and interesting. The gun there. Um, can't go there. I need to leave this way. This whole second floor seems redundant. Uh, well, I say seems redundant. There's, there's loads you can do, huh. but like, that's weird. Both of them make like a weird comment when you leave. It's so weird, pointless. They didn't, and that's fine. Uh, so, so I want to, ideally, I would like to get rid of him in a way. Can you push him in? No, it doesn't work like that. So I know he will eventually go over there and take a phone call. That's how I got him before. I've like literally hidden in the corner with a janky angle and like shot him. But like people notice. They don't notice you per se if you're clever, but they notice. Hey, Mr. Tux. 
So, I think he's about to come through here. Use his opportunity to have a quick drink. Ah, excuse me. So, I'm currently on track for Silent Assassin or whatever it's called. Um, has he had the conversation with this lady yet? Maybe. That is Victor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Hi. Quite the resume. I love how if you stare at people too intently, like they notice that. It's such a fun detail. I thought that guy's arm was in a cast, but it's just a light. Sir? Oh yeah, he has this conversation, he says, oh I've got business to attend to, then talks to her, then he'll go out to the uh, whatever to make a phone call. Now he makes a phone call, I believe, to Dahlia, so the fact that she won't answer because she is, you know, dead, uh, may affect that part of the loop, but in the past, when all of that's been allowed to happen because I've been dicking about upstairs. The rest of the time he seems to just sort of like aimlessly wander the downstairs. I'm unsure of any of the uh, things you would need to do to get him to do anything else. Again, you could drop that on him, uh, you could let him with this, but all of those seem to not fill the criteri criteria. criteria of Silent Assassin. Again, maybe they do and I make this needlessly difficult myself, but it is kind of fun to work out how to get him by himself. My assumption would be to... Where's he gone? Oh, maybe I missed. I don't know. Maybe that happens even later. God, I hope not. Uh. Oh wait, is he waiting to go backstage? Well, I tell you what, I could just reload and try and make the stage thing work. No, he's not. He is just doing a loop. Could just shoot him from here, but um, oh, I hadn't noticed this evening before, that's lovely. So he's going to come round again. Yeah, so this is the loop he's doing now. Does this lady not talk to him? Or have I missed that? Oh, well before, no one was there to talk to him. Party at 
Paris Hotel. Victor, darling! Oh, the show is absolutely divine. Please take over the show. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. That means so very much coming from you. Now, if you'll excuse me, please. I'm sorry. I would like to be left alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Again, that weird thing where, like, I am standing in a crowd of, like, a hundred other people. And he's freaking out because I'm vaguely near him. It's like, you know. There we go. Okay. I mean, let me double check the... Uh, how does it work? Only cut a target, no bodies found. Yeah, well, his body would be found. I mean, truth be told, they have such a long variable loop. I'm clearly missing something in how to, like, change his behavior. But even if I did, like, there's so many permutations, it's very unclear how I would make that happen. Maybe the fact that, like, she doesn't answer the phone will do something interesting. I guess we'll find out. Well, there's meant to be dogs, but they're definitely zebras. That noise in the back. I don't know whether it's loud enough you can hear, but it's like a kind of woof woof. Well, it's like a yar 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 kind of noise, but it's like... If you listen to the noise, like the kind of whinny noise zebras make, it's that. It's it's not dogs. I thought it was dolphins originally, because I was like, I couldn't place what it was. But okay, so he's gonna come out now, make a a a, a private phone call. I guess need to be close enough. To me. Excuse me, I'm yawning. Oh good, a save point, that's useful. Oh interesting. The fact that she's dead means that her phone has been automatically disconnected. Jesus, this game. That's okay. Like, it's not even trying to imply that I'm the same as all these other people. I also don't know how you trigger the uh, finale, or it just happens after like a long period of time, it's hard to say. This is just his loop now, isn't it? I need to break it somehow, and I have truly no idea how to do that. Does this just go on? How do you... Okay, I'm going to trigger the fireworks just because it will do something different, I hope. Because um, this is silly. 
So. I have every right to go into the second floor. Do you have an invitation, sir? Thank you. Have a good one, sir. Bum, 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 bum. Sir, thank you for your patience. Oh, I think it's happening. Okay, screw it. Let's go to Winch Plan. I'm just gonna Frisk Zone, sir. If you want to come through, I need to have a look in your pockets. What do you say? Do it quickly, Christ! I'm going to go get. We're all here. I'm going to go get the de detonation thing from the security place. All right, good job, sir. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Please come in. I hope you enjoy this I have explored feelings of powerlessness, duress. Coercion. The notion that, that free will <laughs> is only an illusion. That we are all controlled by sinister forces cynically preying on our vices and weaknesses. But, <laughs> like the pleasant design suggests, we put on a brave face. A mask of normality. To make us appear happy. Successful. Oh, there's a crowbar over there. That's way easier. Oh, there's a guy there. Who really is? Thank you. Have a good night. Okay. Uh, oh, nope. This isn't good. I think I may have missed my shot. Oh no, they leave at the same time. Okay, so what you've got to do clearly is get him to not be, you know. Hmm. Okay, that wouldn't have worked anyway. Okay, back to plan uh, A, plan B. Plan Z at this point. Uh, let's get that fireworks going. Which requires me to no longer be on the third floor. This doesn't count as trespassing, so I'm fine. Because that's how these games work. Uh, where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Well, now he's doing something different, I suppose. But I'm not sure how helpful it will be for me. Oh, another security... Oh, that guy's still waiting. That's hilarious. Um, okay. Okay, let's just get this. Oh, hold on a minute. Sorry, I have to go to get the door. About that only the best professional let's plays have door answering in them hmm 
Okay, so back to my conundrum. What the? Oh, shut up. Whoa, I picked the worst time to do this. Christ. Oh, you are kidding me. Fuck off. Fuck off! I did everything right. Go away. Oh, that worked. Oh. Oh, for piss's sake. Oh. Wow. Never knew this stuff was so complicated. Okay, well, I need to go down there anyway, I guess, or something. Yeah, that's a fireworks remote. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. Look, Novikov's expecting a heads up before we trigger the display. That's so we can watch it. Ah. Uh. Hey, what are you doing here? You're trespassing. Hey, hold it. All right, follow me. Comprende? Yeah. I mean, I got the thing, so this isn't the worst situation. Yeah, good job, sir. You're doing good. Oh, we can. You're free to go about your business. Nice. Um, I guess I'll go do the camera downstairs. Oh. The best way to do that is... Yeah, no, I'll go the main way. Oh, actually, this way is probably quicker. Oh, no, someone's coming. Wait, they're there, so where's he? Did he get dressed? I didn't know they could do that. Oh, he's there, standing in the corner, like an idiot. So... Don't go out the door. No, okay, cool. Those two I can ignore. It's just him and one other. Um Wait, where's he now? What's he doing now? Okay, he's just dicking about. Oh, no, he's right there. Turn around. I suppose I could throw a penny, but I'd have to get into his line of sight to throw it anyway. I just need him. I know he does it, because I've done it a million times before. Oh, but here comes the other one. Oh, I've come in at the worst possible time in this cycle. This is just hideous. I might need to hide, I thought. <sighs> Nothing particularly exciting going on right now. Wait, is he going to come around this way? Oh, 
I just need to be ready to hide. This is slow going. Okay, they're doing something. Yeah, he's coming for this door. I fucking knew it. Oh. Let's give it a go. Oh. Hey, you, this is not a place for you to be. I'm sorry, I will hey, follow you. Look at me, just do as I say. Let's go. Cool. I do love how you can just let them walk you out. It's kind of fun. Very good, sir. Just keep walking. Like you feel like this should this should tie into some kind of failure, like you're not you you're not connected to the crime, but people remember a weird guy fucking around on the night of the murder, you know that kind of thing. But no. Good job, sir. Making my job easy. All right, you're free to go. Cool. I'm gonna get someone private to do this because I would imagine. Oh, there's thingy. That's cool. I guess the thing to do is to knock him out somehow, and then thingy might take the stage by himself. I should be able to just go. This is probably going to be quicker than trying to sneak around there. Thank you, sir. Please continue. I want to go see the fireworks. And I'm allowed out here. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not supposed to be. Oh, he's repeating himself. I could just shoot. No, I probably couldn't. I sure I haven't done my gun anyway. Okay, he does the speech. 1.75 times and then fucks off. I need to keep out of his way otherwise he'll want to be alone. Um, let's see what he does now. Does he just go back on his loop? I guess he does. Enjoy the show, sir. Okay, well that achieved nothing. I know there's something you can do to get him to like go look at the river and you push him in. I've truly no idea how to bring that about. There he is. If you don't mind, oh you fucking fuck thing. you. Piece of shit. Stupid game. Oh, 
Oh, well, now everyone's come out here, I guess. That's new. I think. I think that's new. Ah, <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm running out of patience, like... I can't, I can't think of an obvious thing to do to get him alone. Yeah, he's just doing his loop. Okay, I'm, 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 I give up. I, I don't know how to make this. I don't know how to make. I don't know how to make this. Oop. He's just doing his loop now. I, I don't know how to make him do anything. Uh, I don't know how to get anyone to interact with him in a way that would make him change his pattern. I don't know even if I did those things, how any of them would let me get him alone. Like, there's got to be a way, because the mission is there, you must be able to kill him in a way that doesn't leave a body, i.e. either pushing him over into the water, I'm assuming that works the same as it did in Blood Money, like people don't spot hey. the absence of a person when they fall into a river. Um, or, you know, I'll be able to like take him out quietly and put him in a thing somewhere, and I should be able to do that without ever changing cost. Wait a fucking second. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait. Oh, do it all in your suit. Do it all in your suit. Do it all in your suit. Does that mean do all of these important bits in the suit? Or does that mean you can never take the suit off? I would guess the latter because that seems more in spirit of things. Yeah, see, that's the one I was looking at. I don't know how to make him get there because that would be the obvious thing, right? Okay, I guess the next thing to do is I need to get that bodyguard away from him, and I don't know how to make that happen either. Yes. I'd like to see your invitation, sir. Are those two clones? No. Green light. Yep, he's doing his fucking loop. So can I go... Yeah. Nope, trespassing. Can I go... Here? Nope. Can I go... Nope. He goes outside, he'll turn around, he'll go back in. I can't even talk to him, I think. Because he gets upset if I go anywhere near him. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's... No, I was going to say, it got... I thought there was like a light cycle. I thought there was a day cycle in this game, but no, it was just... A different part of the... So his loop now is very closed. It's very, like a very tight sort of... Just sort of vaguely... I mean, hardly anyone's around here now, so I can probably just sort of... 
Oh, you fuck you. Um. Yeah, he, he's never moving from that spot. Um, hmm. I guess I'm trying to do the hardest thing you can do. I mean, I've already beaten the mission, that's the thing. I've already beaten the mission. Uh, this is, I suppose, the thing you do the last. Because the last thing you do in this game, right, is... You figure out the way to, but okay. Even even saying for a moment, I'm not even trying to do this all like in suit only or whatever. Outside of the one, uh, what's it called, the bare knuckle boxer cocktail, and that one time he took a phone call over there, I don't understand how you get him anywhere near any of the things, right? Well, like, hang on a second. Let's play a little what if here scenario. Oh, wait, what's this? Is that just 10? Have I discovered them in the wrong order? Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not information I need. That was information that maybe would have led me to that. So. Oh, fuck off. Propane. Propane accessories. Whoops, shit. Hey, Wait. you! You can't be here! Who do you think you are? Who? Ha! Oh, there's a window! You're coming with me, understood? Yep. You need a subtitle to understand? Not another step! What? I'm following you! Told you to follow me. What's the problem, Bozo? Yeah, I'm following job, you. Sir. Just keep moving. You goddamn fuck you! I'm right. fuck you this game. Control, fuck this fucking mission. Fuck's sake. We gotta see where that came from. Fuck this mission. Fuck this game. Not really. I'm I'm having a blast, but like, just the stupid fucking AI. Like. It's hard enough fucking understanding what the hell is going on in this stupid game. It's like, oh, you have to do these 11 million things to figure out how to make him open the jar of peaches that you need to poison, but you can only get the poison if you seduce the Countess, and you can only seduce the Countess if you know exactly the pin number of her cousin-in-law. Like, just fuck off. I'm just like, no. It's so... Fucking dumb. Like, just. Oh, now the target's in lockdown. Okay, sure. Oh, this is a toilet. I don't need this. What's going on? Alright. What the? Oh, they're moving quite quickly. Our guy's down that corridor. I like how they haven't really noticed me yet. Took a bullet for you. Get out of my way, old man. There we go. What the? 
Oh, one bullet isn't going to cut it. Oh, I'm very bad at aiming. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Where's the exit? Um... It's around here is the exit. That old man took a bunch of bullets. There he is. Nice. Please, please, I haven't done anything to you. Oh, I need to go here to exit the mission. Whatever. Where'd he go? Uh, yeah, I'm calling that. I'm gonna play the next mission. I'm I'm, I'm bored of this one. Oh, I've seen this mission already because I've beaten this. Uh, yeah, I would. I I thought so. Um. Whatever. Eh. I don't... I don't know. Like, I see the appeal in the idea that you have to, like, find specific pieces of information and put them in the right order in your head to figure out how to get the targets into situations that they don't just blunder into like they used to in the old games. You have to wait for them to walk. Uh, you have to memorize the route. Do you have to change the route now? I like that. That is a an exceptional way to change the gameplay. And I want to be good at it, but I'm clearly not. And it feels a little bit like if you don't know the answer, it just feels like uh like an old uh point and click adventure where like you have to click on the right tool on the right pixel on the screen. What do they call it? Pixel bitching. And it's like, it's kind of like that, where it's like, I can see all these different combinations of things, but I don't know which one to push to make them do a thing that would be useful for me. And I don't know what will happen. Like, the ones where it's like, oh yeah, if you dress up as this guy, you can give him a poison souffle. It's like, okay, I get that. Uh, and this connecting thing, this has happened a couple times. I get that. But if I don't want to do that, or rather still, if it's a piece of information that doesn't have an obvious death at the end of it, it's like, oh, you can activate the fireworks. That got him to go out there. So I, I it achieved one half of the equation, but it didn't make him any less vulnerable to anything. Granted, if I was doing going a completely different game style, like I'm, this is what I'm saying, I'm not saying like, oh, it's stupid. I'm saying like, okay, that, that clearly wasn't the thing I needed, but I don't know what the thing I needed is. And maybe I do have it, but I don't know whether doing that thing will, like, I don't know what these things will lead to. You just have to play the game and just sort of, like, do it over and over again until you learn. And, I don't know, I always liked about these games the fact that if you were clever, it wasn't impossible to get the best silent assassin kill rating in your first attempt. It was very unlikely, because you would just get lost and bumble into people. The rules didn't change. You could watch one cycle, figure out where everyone was, and then go do the prerequisite things to make the assassination happen. Again, granted, I've only played one full story mission of this game so far. But if I feel that the, I am inferring from the game that that can't be done purely because the avenues you can lead the targets down are so circuitous that you can't know what the effect of your anything more oblique than just dressing up as a guy in order to give them a, a deadly massage or a poisonous cake those are fine but the ones where like you give them bits of information or you lie to them about who you are or you engineer socially engineer situations and you don't know where those are going to lead down to you just need to play a couple of times and that's fine and the fact that they kind of re encourage replayability tells me they kind of know that's the case and they're trying to make it not tedious 
Um, but yeah, I've never been happy with any one of my serious attempts at playing this mission so far, just because I always feel like at the end I'm like, I don't know, fuck it, bang, okay, that worked, I'll leave. Anyway, such as it is. <laughs>